Hey there, my gorgeous friends on the internet. Do you see anything different? Quality change? I'm in focus now. I decided to get the Fuji X-T3 and it got me so tingly on the inside that I feel like a schoolgirl getting a good grade. Where am I going with this? So Python is popular these days with all the young kids and children and babies. So let's do something for them. Okay, let's let's take a video and convert it to a GIF using a Python script. If you don't like Python, it's fine. I don't like children either. What magic trick shall we do today? You know what? There's the magic trick. It's you, because you're magical. Okay, let's let's get going with the video. Okay, everybody, let's get started. Let me get off YouTube here. Okay, so we have opened here the VS codes of the codes. And what we're gonna do is just, I'm gonna open up a folder here and it's gonna be called vidgif tutorial, okay? <laughs> That's how I called it. All right, and all I have here is just a clip. Uh, you can get any clip that you wanna make into a GIF. Uh, I have this one, so <laughs> suit yourself. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna create a Python file here. I'm gonna call this converter dot pi okay so this is all we're gonna do and now we need two packages to install unfortunately so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to our terminal and you can go up here if you're new to this and all you have to write is pip install image io like that and the other one <laughs> i forgot so let's go down here it's gonna say pip install image io ffmpeg or as I like to call it, fmpeg. So image io dash dash, I believe it's two dashes, one dash, ffmpeg. Let me just make sure because this is quite easy to mess up. Hit enter. I already have mine installed, so we're not gonna have to wait for anything. And yeah, so that's what we have. And that's all the uh, prerequisites that we need. Okay, so we're gonna import that image io. With this we don't need to import uh, and then we're also going to import os all right this is going to help us basically um, do paths and stuff like that so the first thing i'm going to need is to get this file so where is the location of this file and the way you can do that is i'm going to create a a variable clip or video whatever you want to call it and we're going to use this os dot path like that and then we can get the absolute path of this item that we give in here. So whatever you put in here is gonna give the absolute path. In my case, it's gonna be add.mp4. That's the name. If you wanna see, ooh, too much JavaScript. If you wanna see, we can just print this out on the screen. Print clip, and then we can run python um, converter.py. And when you run this, you're gonna get, take a look at this line here. You're gonna have, let me see if you can see that. Yeah, okay. Um, the full path all the way, way to this file, okay? Because what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this and then we're gonna give it to image.io to convert it into a GIF. So that's what's gonna happen. So that's the first thing that we need. Then we can just make a function. We can call this GIF maker or whatever you want. And here we're gonna have an input path, all right? So this input path is gonna be the actual clip, all right? Uh, and we're gonna give another one. It's gonna be target format. So if we want to make it a GIF, maybe we want to change it to AVI, MP4. There's a lot of things you can do with this. Um, so that's only the two that we're going to drop. Now make sure you add this colon here so we can go inside this function. And now we're also going to have to give an output path. So we gave the input path, which is this one. And now we have to give an output path. That's going to be called, let's just do output path like that. All right, it's output path. Let's make it uppercase. Uh, and this one, we're going to use os.path, like so. And here we're going to do something magical. And what we're going to do is we're going to call something called split text. All right, now make sure it's only one D. This is special here. All right, just don't mess this up. It's one D in here. Split text, okay? And then what we're going to do is we're going to add this input path. All right, so the actual clip that we're eventually going to pass in here, like that. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna say zero here and then plus target format. Whew, all right, calm down then, what do you mean? So what, what happens here is uh, when we get this OS path split text input path, 
what this is going to return us is this. It's going to return us add dot mp4. All right, but if, when we split the text, we're going to get this add and mp4 like that. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to get the first one. So add, and then we're going to add plus target format, which is the format that we're eventually going to convert it to. So our output path is actually going to be the same file name and the extension that we're going to give it. All right. So this is all it does. It just takes this add.mp4, it splits it into two like this, and then we get the first one add. So we keep the name and then we add the target format that we want. So GIF in this case. Okay. So we got that going, which is nice. Then we can actually output this on the screen if we want. We can say print and we can use this F and format and say converting. And then we can just add some curly braces like that. We can say input path and then we can add a output or we can actually add a new line like this. Uh, so we can see it a bit better too. And then we can say output path. All right. All right. Perfect. So that's that's another thing that we have. Now what we need to do is we can create a variable called reader and we can use that image IO dot get reader and we can feed in that input path. All right, which is going to be our clip. So we're going to say, hey, image IO, read my clip. Why did I do that? OK, so this just reads the contents of this, the MP4. And then we can actually set the FPS. So how many, what FPS is this GIF is going to have? Now we can actually use the same FPS as the video. And the way you can do that is you can say FPS equals, and there's a cool message, a cool method on this. So we can call this reader dot get metadata like that. All right. And we can do a curly, not curly square bracket here and we can say FPS. And what this is going to do is going to read the metadata of this video and it's going to get the FPS. So now when we are converting it, we can just say, hey, here it is. Just use the same as the video. OK, now we can write it and we can create that GIF by saying writer and we can say image IO dot get writer. And then here we, we give it the output path and the FPS, which is in case is going to be equal to the FPS that we just made here. I'm pointing, but you can you cannot see where I'm pointing. Oh my God, where is this channel going? Ugh. All right, so we just set it equal to this. OK, perfect. So now what we're going to do is we're going to create a for loop and we're going to say for image in reader. All right, so we're going to read that video and we're going to extract all the images or frames that you can say image or frame frames from the video. And in here, all you can do is after we read the image and we extract each piece of chunk of like data, we can write it and create the GIF. So we can say writer dot append data, <laughs> append data like that. And we can append these frames. All right. And that's it. We can just print it out. We can say print and we can format it if we want frame. And we can add that frames. And actually, this is going to return us a weird uh, array kind of chunk of data. So we can enumerate this if we want to see. For now, let's leave it like this. I might show it after. And yeah, that's it. So after it does all the things and writes and appends the data, uh, outside of this for loop. So make sure you're outside of it. We can just print done or something like that. All right. And then we can do writer dot close. So we can close and we don't want to write anymore. So hit save and let's, <laughs> let's give this a shot. So what you do is you just call this function gift maker and we can pass in, um, the clip. All right. So the input path is going to be the clip like that and the format that we want. What do we want? Let's do a dot gif. All right, hit save and let's run this Python converter .py. And look at that. It's doing crazy stuff. <laughs> Does this work? Look at that. We have a gif. So that's perfect. Come on and take a look. We have done. Everything has been finished. 
we can take a look. We have a GIF. Open this up. Wonderful. Okay. <laughs> uh, what else can we do here? I mean, you can take this if you think this. I, I shot this in like 1080p, so it's quite large GIF, 32 megabytes. I mean, you can drop it into like a GIF optimizer just to make this simpler, simple. Uh, if you really want, you can just choose a file here. Uh, let's go to, where is it? Desktop, let's go to projects and drop this in here. And let's see if we can just kind of optimize it. Uh, we can do a heavy, heavy optimization here or something like that, 100%. And then, yeah, let's just leave it like that, optimize. Let's see how much we can reduce this. We have the cat going, doing its thing. And hopefully <laughs> this will be done today. Uh, but there we go, look at that. We have five megabytes, so we saved a ton. And yeah, that's it. I wanna see the GIFs, I wanna see the memes being generated. So make sure to attach it down in the comments below. And that's it. Thank you very much for being here with me again. I appreciate the support, we're close to 100K. I feel like I'm saying this every video, so we might not reach it ever. Uh, but yeah, I'm planning on doing a lot of more stuff. Hopefully in the near future, we're gonna do a full stack app. Maybe, maybe we're gonna see how we split it up. Maybe one big video, maybe a few small ones for the children. There's a fly here going 300 miles per hour. I might write an app to exterminate it. Oh my goodness, but yeah. That's, hey, life, where am I? All right, I want you to have a great day. Make sure to go to sleep early this time, not at 2 a.m. I'm watching you. I caught the fly. I'm not gonna do anything to it. I'm gonna let it outside because who knows? He might have a bright future. He might get into web development. Hey, you never know. And after 20 years, he's gonna come back millionaire and it's gonna pay me half of his money because I saved his life and I changed his career. All right, let's go. <laughs>